Some on our list today, investors on Wall Street, they are anxious to say the very least about what's going on between the United States and China. First President Trump announced massive tariffs, uh, then he backed down and tried to quiet a nervous market. Apparently it didn't work. Yesterday, despite Mr. Trump's assurances, the market dropped almost 800 points in one day, unexpected. Again, many asking, is the market so artificially inflated that it could go no place but down? And if so, how, how far down? Joining us now to talk about this volatility is uh, Melissa Armo. She is a stock market analyst who's good enough to uh, spend some time with us. Uh, uh, Melissa, what gives? What's causing this? <laughs> well, good evening. Welcome, everyone. Yes, the market is down again tonight. So I know probably everyone was panicking from the sell-off on Tuesday. Market was closed today, but we're down in the futures this evening in the in the after hours. So it'll be interesting to see where we are right now. We're going to gap down as of, as of tomorrow morning. If we open, we'd be down again. That doesn't mean the end of the world, though. What created the sell-off was that people are panicking because it came out that things were going all smoothly or going to move forward with China, and then all of a sudden there really wasn't any agreement. And so I think that created more selling because it's uncertainty, which means this tariff situation really is going to drag into 2019. Aren't you concerned, though, that there's a lot of fakeness in the air when it comes to uh, what the Dow has been doing for the last nine years with uh, the interest rate uh, set almost uh, artificially, unexpectedly, or should I say, in a place where it can't stay long enough, that eventually we've got to bring up interest rates, then what's going to happen? Well, that's what has been happening. The rates have increased this year, and that has created some worry in the market. And obviously, then borrowing costs for businesses, for corporations have been higher, and mm -hmm. also individuals as well. Like if you have a credit card, your interest rates have gone up. But the fact is, as you said, that was artificial. Rates can't stay at next to nothing forever. So the market has to get used to that, and people have to get used to that. In a healthy economy, you have normal interest rates, not zero interest rates. Now, I do think the Fed may be raising rates a little bit too fast. We'll see see if this sell-off that's occurred now will halt the Fed from raising rates in December, which they are expected to do. Would you tell people out there that they should get into the market or those who have left the market for fear because of its volatility, would you advise them to get back in? I think it's really important to look at your her, your time horizon. It's not a set thing in stone for, for a blanket statement that I could make. It depends on your age. It depends on how much money you have to invest in your time horizon, when you want to put money in the market, and when you want to have it out. In other words, someone in their mid-30s is a lot different time horizon if they're looking at investing in the market for their retirement than someone, say, at 52. So you have to really look at that. Do I expect more volatility to occur in 2019? Absolutely. In fact, the volatility that we saw in the market this year and like we're even seeing it this week is going to be like a baby compared to what I think we see next year. And why? Because mm -hmm. the tariff thing with China is not resolved. And I believe that Trump will try to resolve it before the 2020 presidential elections. And it could be a lot of back and forth in the market. As far as people go, they really have to meet with their financial advisor and look at their time horizon for investing. But overall, the market is still holding the uptrend. And the positive takeaway from right now is that even with the volatility, the market's holding the uptrend. And I believe, barring a world war, that we do. Now, we, if we have a world war, I might change my opinion on well, that. Well, let's not go there. I, no, no, no questions about world wars, at least not at this point. Melissa Armo, thanks so much. We appreciate your time. We appreciate your positive attitude, by the way. All right. Thank let, you. Let's do this now. Uh, the United States is... Uh,